and all those around you and your family. And it's it's a war. It's a war that I've had to had to learn to wage for 13 years. You know, this isn't fun. This isn't something I chose to do. You know, every step of the way I've said, help me, take this away from me. Somebody else do it. I sat in Laughlin the very first time I was there in 2000 and said, I'm here because I need help. Please help me. And 90% of the supposedly cream of the crop researchers ran away and wanted to tar and feather me and run me out of town because I was taking their spotlight. The tall building is where my office was on the seventh floor. And of course we just had that put up. So is that the sign that McAvoy was standing next to? That's one of them. Seven North inpatient psych unit. Uh -huh. What's my office is right here. Put the camera up to the window. Just hold it here for about five seconds.
me for those who don't believe that this is the place. Second unit, seventh floor, where I work. Place where you supposedly didn't work. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And there are no records that say I ever existed here. It's really maddening to me. You know, I loved what I did in school for almost 13 years. And it was over within nine days. Mm -hmm. We're back. It's October the 16th, 2009, the 13th year anniversary of your alien encounter, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Um, I'm here with you now. I'm going to ask some questions that, you know, came to mind after reviewing the documentary that we did back in May. Um, certain things that I left out that I wanted to get answered and get your, your views on. Okay. Um, one was the, the explanation that you wrote in the book, um, Link, concerning the contortion of Freddy in the freezer. You had mentioned one time you opened the freezer up and you saw him, his body was contorted. Could you like go into that a little bit more? Sure. When, when I had brought <clears throat> this body home that I thought was essentially dead, it reanimated on the third day and, and set up and was alive and uh, hurt but alive and hour by hour day by day it would get in and out of this freezer by itself and sit in front of the freezer and rock back and forth and then it would get back in and one day I, I went over to where it was I could see inside the freezer because it was a top that opened up and I watched him kind of sit down inside the freezer and it was almost like he pulled himself into its 
into his body like he was curling up 